ladies and gentlemen. Game one. Avicii Gaming versus Team Liquid. Boxy really coming in onto Old Lemon. The blood right down. Trying to commit Boxy. Not able to finish off the, the kill though with the heals coming up for Old Lemon. He's fine. Maybe actually they could turn though. Old Lemon, he actually over he overestimates his capabilities That's the there. Classic Old Eleven move, man. Oh, Old Eleven, I mean he had more. More than enough opportunity to turn and run mid lane. Or he's getting dove upon by Mickey. Mickey. Has he got anything to throw out on this? A few seconds. It's Ori. Just keep chasing. He has a, he's just got the bottle delivered, so he will at least have some regen coming out. Remnant comes into play, though. Mickey got the damage. He does. Mickey will still find the kill despite the bottle just being delivered for Ori. That's a big kill. And there's the tip. On bottom lane. See this attempt onto the Wraith King as Liquid. Are they going to be able to finish him off? PYW's him. The attack speed slow from DY Spirits. Tiger not quite able to finish the kill. And he'll pay with his own life for the attempt. And Fuchi Gaming, they'll be able to turn and take one. Bit of an attempt onto Quite for as well. I don't think he can get this kill. Oh, or maybe they have with DY. Die. And with the snowball, Quite for pops the stick charges. He's trying to get back under the tower. He'll be able to get away. He's laying down the plague wars. Quite for's even trying to get back in. He's very low though. Quite for. He, he did a bit of an old 11 there, Lacoste. Yes, he did. And now Tiger's in, rolling. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good uh, Phoenix. Mickey also managed to kill PYW. Falls into favor now for, for Vici Gaming. Not, not able to find the angle to get in onto Mickey. Or he's going to look towards top instead for the action. Coming over with the DD rune. He's heading over, drops the coil down, catches Boxy. Instantly, though, TPs are coming in. A lot of backup for Liquid as Mickey slides in with the Astral Step. They do lose Boxy. What can they get in return? They get... Ori at least, and they'll also pick up PYW. He's left behind Liquid quickly reacting to that move yeah, so by fast Ori. With the reactions, uh, they see Puck there, instant TPs, uh, two heroes. Uh, they want to make something out of that, and uh, they get a much uh, better trade. Phoenix on the bottom lane. Oh, oh Mickey actually gets and a triple. Another 2400. You know, 2k difference between the two mid laners uh, just eight minutes in. It's a huge difference. Ori. They need to get this skill. Like, he needs to get the last hit. He needs money. He really wants it. I mean, it's taken them a lot of work to bring Tiger down. Tiger, he's going to be able to roll away. The Supernova's coming out. The Snowball does chase them. Will allow them to get the kill on Tiger. But Ori's got to be careful. He's bottling up. Boxy and Mickey, they're chasing him down. Orbs available and a bit of a heal from the Subray. Keep Ori fine. In fact, they might just be able to get Boxy, and they do. Vici, they've got the three of them up here. See so if they're going to be prepared for this. The silence from Tiger to set things up. Mickey, can he burst through Ori? It's actually going to be off the mark with the Remnant. And now Ori's going to have the chance to turn. Drops the good egg. egg on the high ground. Can they take it out in time? They can't. Mickey's gone. Tiger caught underneath the Supernova for, for the setup damage. for the duel. As Vici Gaming, they were prepared this time round. Even if they, they don't have. need the catch, you did the Dream Coil he sort of enough. He can get that after. I think yeah. Dream Coil will be enough. Uh, there it is. There Once we have again. It. Looking for the setup on a mid game. Silence as well. They're trying to burst through him. They're going to be able to walk and get the duel. Another Snowball. win for Old Eleven. Straight over towards Insanius. They look to pick up a second. The Supernovas drop down to leave no possibility for Liquid to turn this one yeah, around. This is the Vici Gaming that I watched for. Oh, this is the best item for Legion Chipped West. It's only him and Axe that uh, kind of love the item. This okay. item needs a buff. Well, the chip vest? Oh, yeah. It needs to give armor, like, I mean, it's a vest. I have old 11. Finding the jewels to start things off. Insane. He's going to put the freezing field, but PYW, he's going to pop him in the face there with the uppercut. He went to Hand of Midas, so that's going to pay off eventually. They're trying to take the top tier one tower. Oh, they're going to go on DY, see if they can take him down before the supernova. They can't. Tiger's in with the silence, no chance for an ultimate. Over towards PYW they go this time. Liquid's going to be chasing down VG Gaming one by one. So they're moving on to the Tusk, bring him down. They're even seeing if they can catch anything else out of this. He's going to have those two lives to fight through. and Liquid may be able to throw everything on him to bring him down the once, but taking him down twice is only going to get harder as the game goes on. A lot of excellent scaling potential for the Wraith King this game. Top lane, Liquid trying to go in onto PYW. He's actually able to get the Snowball off before the Blood Ride comes into play. DY's going in with the Supernova. Liquid, they've got a back up with the Dream Coil from Ori. Catches the three of them. All the levers there with the follow-up duel. Catching Quaifer. They've locked down the Venom. They've brought him down. Insane is trying to turn things in with a Freezing Field. Tiger gets the Science out to the two of them. Boxy's looking for a target. He will be able to find PYW, but Liquid, they've lost two. And they um, haven't even been able to bring down Poyo the once. Poyo's just sitting there. That for, for a lot of the time in the previous games has, has made this Quake for Venno look unkillable. There's See mid, duel. straight up opening. He's Old alone. Eleven, he's looking to start the fight. He's buying time for the follow-up to come in. And PYW jumps in with a punch up. The tree calls down onto the two of the Mickey. Is he able to get out? No, the snowball catches him. 
as Mickey and Tiger are out. Boxy looking for an opportunity to try and get back in on this, but Vici Gaming, they're still got the full five man alive. Boxy, he's not even feeling confident enough to get in and finish off DY. Poyoyo dies the once on the side. But Liquid, they've got no chance of going for him a second time with just the three of them alive. Pew, he's in. ready to jump back in. Supernova's out. Quaifer's trying to run, but the shards are in place as well as the silence. Quaifer can't run. He's held in position as the Wraith King takes him down. The mid tower falls. Void Spirit, not too much damage. Like sometimes it's very hard to itemize this hero to be able to like transition into super late game. Sits up on 11. He's pretty deep here. Mickey. Trying to set up on him, PYW is going to jump straight across over towards Tiger. Duel. Tiger's just out of the fight. The snowball comes into play, dodges the blow right. Dreamcore's down as well as the supernova. Boxy tries to come across and start hitting it, but Liquid, they've already lost the two of them. They've got to run. Quite for scored on the high ground as Fiji Gaming move over, take down the Veno as well. As Liquid just continue to fall further and further behind. The 7k lead now for Fiji Gaming. Fight. Let's see what they can get. Oh, oh, this Invis rune. That's going to put a stop to the smoke play attempt from the Liquid and straight in. Now looks to open things up on some AK, see if they can get the follow up. He's able to buy time with the Yules over to the side. T.Y. drops the supernova. They're trying to take it down, but Old Levy's going to be able to protect it. Tooling Boxy taking his attention away from the egg as they bring down the Bloodseeker and lose nothing themselves. Or he's still alive, actually but dies. See if they're able to get Tiger here, he's rolling away. Snowball will chase him a little bit. PYW blinking in shards. They're not going to be able to reach him, or he might be able to. Let's see what Liquid's got. Join the tank here to defend with. Oh, Boxy up in a few seconds. Poyoyo making good work at the, the base, and now like quick work at Quaifa. Quaifa just immediately gets collapsed upon. Vici Gaming there relentless as they just instantly blow up the Venomancer. Look what they're trying to push him away. They will manage to keep the, the racks alive, and Quaifa's had to buy back for this. They jump straight back in. They got the call out onto Boxy. Poyoyo and PYW coming in, and they got the damage to take him down. No, the BK out. Boxy will be able to keep himself alive. Over to the side, though, Vici Gaming, they prioritize Quaifa. They take him down. It's a dieback from the Venomancer. And now with the numbers, VG Gaming, they can resume business. Look towards these racks. The, the creep wave has been taken away, but another one. Had your chance to try to go for, like, these early type of um, lineup. Uh, didn't end up well. Like, oh, this way, he's going to take care of that. Dream Core down onto the two of them. Boxy, he's trying to fight with his BKB, but he just doesn't do any damage at this stage. He has to run. He's not going to be even able to do that as Boxy's out. Followed quickly by Mickey, and that's it. GG is called cool. VG Gaming here with this game one victory. And uh, they look pretty good. If Liquid can pull this off, it's going to be a lot of fun, right? Snapfire. Pangolier started with or oh, hang on it. He's dead, like hey. the classic old classic 11 old once 11. again. I mean, how it worked out last game. Stomp on Insania. See what they can do here. Can they finish him up? Yeah, Orb of Corrosion is more than enough. They, Ori, ooh, unfortunately, just needs like two CS to be level six, but oh, he's he also close. out of mana. Down, we see Tiger and Mika. They did come in with a smoke, maybe hoping if they were going to find the Terror Blade. I'll turn their efforts towards PYW mid. Mika, a little off the mark there, though. Remnant. Won't catch him. And PYW is going to try for the TP out. It will take him down in time. Mickey with that DD. Into Scotty, which is great against oh, Oracle. Great against the, the Huskar. I mean, this should be a pretty solid move. As they're going on to Poyoyo, they take him down. Hello. We have coming over here, Luna. That's really bad. Poyoyo back in the game. He TPs over towards that top tier one. They've scanned it. They're going to scout it with the ult. They know that it's low. Oh, they're definitely going to try and make a jump to see if they can steal this quite for is he able to finish up the Roshan time he is they even pop the false promise down onto him to make sure that he's safe to finish the job and he'll do so as they get the Aegis they will lose Tiger but they'll find him return Ori HP. and now he's ready to try and turn for more the kisses start to come out from Boxy will catch PYW and it's enough damage as well Boxy finishes off a second kill as VG Gaming unable to escape in time Liquid they get away with the goals See over towards the mid. They're actually going to try and make an attempt on quite for it. Senny instantly dropping down the false promise to keep his Huskar alive. But a great angle has been found by Old Eleven as he controls Insania. Turns back over towards quite for quite for. He's going to end up going down. Mickey, he's got to jump away. He's got to get out of it. So far, yeah, as you said in the first game, we, we saw a great showing in this game as well. It's, it's, it's looking pretty good for Old Eleven. A few deaths here and there, but those sort of moves like around the mid lane. And now, again, the mid lane once again. 
The coils down, they catch out, make it straight away. Old Eleven goes over towards the pack lines with that Rolling Thunder and Blink to make sure that there's no chance for the rest of Liquid to get in position to help one another out. Koifer's going to commit it, but the BKB is out by Poyo Yo. He stands his ground, tears through Insania. The rest of Liquid, they've just got to run. But they, can they actually get away from this? The Snapfire Ult's coming in from the sidelines. Snowball will buy a bit of safety here. Poyo Yo borrowing the life from PYW to keep himself alive. They'll burst through Koifer, take down a third, as it's just boxing Tiger left alive, and Tiger, he's not going to be alive for much longer as Poyoyo steps up to the high ground, takes him down. Boxy, the lone survivor here against a, another smooth move from Vici Gaming as Liquid, they really are just starting to look completely lost yeah. at this stage of the game. Liquid. I would love to see Terrorblade possibly like picking up um, like one damage item and getting uh, Aghanim Scepter. Such great synergy with the coil from Puck. Oh, there we have it. They're going to try and get the catch onto the Puck, but he's out. Straight away, there's the backup coming in. Poyo Yo heads forward with the BKB, the Metamorphosis. He tears through Tiger, turns over towards Kuiper. The False Promise will buy a bit of safety for him, but he's going to take so much damage as this comes to an end, as Kuiper will surely pop, and he does. And the chase ain't over yet. Old 11. See if he can find even more out of this. He's trying to turn towards Mickey. He has one more step to get away. Rolling Thunder's up. Old 11, he's going to chase this. Going straight back past the Tier 2 Stour as he's just rolling Perfect around in control. position, locking down the Void Spirit. Tiger comes in last minute with a snowball save to simulate his backup as Mickey jumps to the side, but Mickey will still end up going down as Vici Gaming, they're just cleaning them up again, one by one. A blink out from Pox, who will save his life, but it's three dead yet again. Thunder duration on level 15. So top, and they can lock down this Puck. Oh, he's able to get the phase shift off. Is he able to get away, get the Dream Coil out, but he will D -D 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 die for this. Oh, he got purged off. See what Poyoyo can do here. He's trying to step forward and fight into the four of them. He's going to pop the meta, go for Mickey. the sleeps out. Turner wants in Stadia, hold 11 again. Coming in with the Rolling Thunder, up in the air, locks down Mickey. No chance for an escape from the Void Spirit. Oh, for sure. Like, if it he's, drops he's the axe, like, that. he gets it. Oh, see they quit. They are able to get it back. onto D.Y. I have to turn around, attempted it by VG Gaming. Poyo steps in with the BKB and the Metamorphosis, and Mickey, he'll die very quickly. Does buy back immediately. They've taken down a couple, but can they deal with this Terror Blade? They've got to run here, Liquid. They're trying to desperately get away from Poyo Yo. As the Eleven's in, over towards Tiger. They get the stun they onto need to burst him. him. They're trying their best. He's still got a Sunder available as he takes the life of Mickey back up to full HP for himself as Poyo Yo rips through another. That's a dieback from Mickey. I think uh, officially this game is over. They also caught Huskar. No BKB. They need to help him out. Can Boxy do anything to save him quite fast? Oh, he went right back in and he's gone. I thought they were just going to use Gobble up and uh, try to spit him out in the base. So maybe another way that they can try and protect someone from the physical focus of Poyo Yo. There's the DD. Vlad's extra damage coming out from Luna. Lunar's Blessing. What is that damage? It's like 700 ish. DD gets purged off. See Liquid's attempt to try and slow this down. They get the jump in on the Poyo, but he's able to pop the BKB. Turns over towards Tiger. Tiger's out. Has got buyback available on the Tusk. And they do lose old 11. Boxy able to burst through him. And with the Pango taken out. Yeah, this time around 11 didn't go in with the roll. They're going back in here. Just going in Hoskar. They don't even need old 11. False Promise comes out from Insania. Buys some safety for quite for Koik for tries to charge back in. Able to momentarily disarm Poyo Yo, but it's not long enough. The damage is just too high. There's far too much coming out from this Terra Blade as that's Huskar down and out for a minute. Vici Gaming, they do lose a second here. A PYW down. Boxy also able to get to the Ori. back lines. Ori's out. DY as well to fall. It is now just down to Poyo Yo here. Buyback's coming out from VG Gaming. Luna's going to try and make her way back over to help out this, this Terra Blade. I mean, he's still very tough for Liquid to, to take down. Still has that Aegis. He's, they're going to they have to get to through him twice. Let's see what they're going to do here. Yo trying to turn us down his ground over towards Tiger. They've disarmed him for now, trying to, to constantly control him. E-Blade, they'll burst through him the once. They've taken him down, but Ori's back in. He's brought back and he's ready to turn the fight around. As he chases in, looking towards Mickey. Mickey able to get out just in time with the Astral Step as he'll make his way back to base. Oh, Terrorblade's so tanky. He has that Paladin Sword on top of that, so he can lifesteal off. Team Liquid did much better than I expected, like considering the situation they're in right now. But uh, they're probably going to lose the oh, Barrack. I think it to burst. He's able to get the BKB off in time, though. Silence out. Two of them. Poyoyo turns, stands his ground, takes out Boxy, takes down Tiger. 
and they'll destroy the racks as well. Boxy, he'll buy back. Tiger, he's out for a full 70 seconds. They get the pullback on the Poyoyo. And with the BKB coming to an end, there's a bit of a window to try and take him down. Quite far. He with the BKB, jumps in with the life break. They burst through him. The E-Blade from Boxy does it, takes him down. That's Poyoyo gone. Mickey with the setup, yules into Rem. They catches out the Luna. Can they bring DY down in time? DY tries to turn, but he's gone. Another hero down and out. No buyback on the Luna. Here on 11, comes looking to rectify the fight. Comes in with the Rolling Thunder gets a beautiful angle over towards Quaifer with the false promise already used on Mickey. There's no safe for Quaifer. Quaifer's gone, but Mickey and Boxy, they are able to finish off Ori on the back lines. It's Liquid, they're holding. They're keeping this game going somehow despite being down 25k gold. The scoreboard has got that special number. Oh, that's so much damage onto the tower. Leveler picked up by Terrorblade. I don't think you can defend this. Glyph used. See what the move's gonna be from Liquid. 30 seconds until they've got the full squad back in play. Oh, Mickey's gonna be sent in straight away. They're looking to try and burn. Terrible, they get the pullback to the random, but Poyoyo's able to put the BKB on the level. Goes straight in underneath the tier force. He's on to quite for quite was out for 80. Follow up with a lot of things. He Lee. wants him. This rolling thunder control it is going to be counterplayed here by Tiger coming in with the snowball. But Mickey, he's not going to be able to get out in time. He has got a buyback. He'll use it immediately. But Tiger's out. Boxy charging in, trying to push Michi Gaming away off the tier fours. But Poyo Yo, he's got his eyes set on the victory. Taking down the tier four over towards Mickey. It's a dieback from the Void Spirit. And with that, Michi Gaming, they should be able to finally close this one out. Yeah, Throne is falling. Time to call it. It's just that they did not have the answer for this Terrorblade. They, they played good with the lineup that they had. A lot of the problems that Weechi Gaming threw at them, they don't have the answer for this agony.